While sports across the globe go dark, Dana White says the show will go on for UFC. Why is Dana White comfortable continuing? Dana White is somebody with a flawed intelligence. More doubts this should even be attempted. There's still a medical danger here. I don't give a fuck. Really negligent for decision making to make a buck. There was an article in the New York Times today that was very critical. There's no way to 100% guarantee the safety of everybody. So many risks involved in this. This fight is going to be the biggest gate ever in any combat sport. The Ultimate Fighting Championship, also known as the UFC, is a world-famous mixed martial arts promotion that has transformed the whole combat sports sector. The UFC has given some of the most famous moments in MMA history since its beginning in 1993, making it one of the leading organizations in the world of sports. However, behind the global success of UFC, there is a man with a story as fascinating as the sport. This is the story of Dana White, the man who built the UFC and raised it to a multi-billion dollar enterprise, elevating the sport of mixed martial arts to new heights. Dana Frederick White Jr. was born in Manchester, Connecticut, on July 28, 1969. His childhood days were far from perfect and rather filled with instability and hardships. His parents got divorced when he was a child, and he was forced to move around a lot. His mother suffered from substance abuse problems, and his family lived in extreme poverty for several years. Considering his obstacles, Dana was still determined to build a name for himself. He began boxing as a teenager. After graduating from high school, he did enroll in college, yet soon dropped out twice. It was then he realized that college might not actually be his cup of tea. Despite knowing his lifelong dream of being a fighter, Dana still had to work as a bellman and valet before actually chasing his goal. White didn't quit his job and join boxing until a trainer, Peter Welch, advised him to do so years later. His knowledge about the world of boxing grew under Welch's supervision, leading him to ultimately start his own boxing classes. These classes turned out to be a great success for Dana. He traveled around many boxing centers and gyms in Boston to teach budding boxers. Things changed for him when a powerful member of the Boston Mafia paid him an unwelcome visit. After Kevin Weeks demanded him to pay him $2,500, which he claimed Dana had owed him, he decided to buy a one-way ticket to Las Vegas to never return. Here, he began his official career in the boxing world, serving as a manager for various athletes, including Tito Ortiz. Dana was approached later in 2001 by the Fertitta brothers, who were interested in owning the UFC. At the time, the UFC was trying to survive, while many fans and experts had claimed it to be an almost dead sport. Dana White, on the other hand, saw a promising future for MMA and persuaded the Fertitta brothers to invest in the UFC. Thus, they purchased the organization for only $2 million. The initial years of the UFC were full of difficulties and challenges. Several states had outlawed the sport, and it was hard to find facilities that were ready to stage MMA events. Nevertheless, Dana and the Fertitta brothers were committed to making the UFC successful, so they put all of their time, energy, and money into it. Midway through the 2000s, the popularity of the UFC started to soar, mostly owing to the sudden success of the reality series, The Ultimate Fighter. The show provided viewers with a behind-the-scenes peek into the life of MMA fighters, and it contributed to the growth of a new generation of stars. Hence, the UFC finally started to get recognition, becoming one of the world's most popular sports organizations in a matter of time. Along this journey, Dana had now become the image of UFC. His outspoken style and serious approach boosted the sport to new heights of success. He was always eager to express himself and was not hesitant to take any risks when promoting the UFC. Dana's enthusiasm for the sport was obvious, and he soon gained a huge following in the MMA world. He was credited for evolving the UFC from a tiny, struggling organization into a sports superpower. His love for MMA and determination to achieve his goals played a huge part in making the sport as famous as it had ever been in history.
The UFC made news in 2016 when it was sold for an astounding $4 billion. The sale was a massive accomplishment, and clearly mirrored the hard work and vision of Dana White. The UFC has grown into a billion-dollar enterprise, and it has made MMA a global phenomenon. It grew under Dana's guidance, and today, it holds events all across the world. John Jones, Ronda Rousey, and Conor McGregor are just a few of the MMA superstars that the company has produced. Dana's oversight was critical to the survival and success of the UFC. It was his daring decisions and willingness to take risks that paved the way for the sport to become a global sensation. He played a major role in getting the first broadcast agreement for the company and was a driving factor behind its growth into new markets all across the globe. Dana's promotional skills were critical to the UFC's success as well. He was always seeking a new way to promote the sport, and he wasn't hesitant to take any chance for getting others to understand what he wanted to say. His leadership style has contributed to the UFC being a more welcoming and friendly workplace. He has always been a prominent supporter of the rights of the fighters and has campaigned to make athlete conditions better within the sport. He has also stood firmly among several controversial like the use of performance improving drugs and fighter safety. It is clear that Dana White has cemented his legacy in the sports industry. His commitment to the sport has contributed to the current status of the UFC as a behemoth in the sports industry. His story proves the power of dedication, hard effort, and the will to never give up. We may take away a number of lessons from his journey. Dana grew up in an unstable and challenging environment, yet he refused to allow his circumstances to define him. He knew that he deserved more out of his life and was prepared to put in every effort to achieve this goal. He poured his time and money into the UFC and took daring measures to make a name for the sport. Without such risks, the UFC would not have become the worldwide sensation that it is today. In the end, the story of Dana White serves as a reminder that everything is achievable with hard work, dedication, and passion. What we can learn from him is to never be afraid to follow our dreams. Never be afraid of taking risks. Be true to yourself. That's what made people respect him, and that's what will bring success to you too.